Time to do some wrenching. Okay, I'm getting sick of looking at this insulation under this hood. Uh, I'm going to take it off and paint it. Uh, I'm going to use this for a tool to get these fasteners off. Uh, they got nice big heads, but you got to be careful with this, taking them off slowly so they don't break. Because uh, these fasteners, they're usually a one time deal, but take it easy with them. You can probably get them off. Yeah, this is one good one. Go slow with them, though, they should come off. Um, you know, I'm not going to bore you with taking them all off because there's like 15 of them. Uh, but I want to go slow with them so I don't break them. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm down to the last one. And surprisingly, I didn't break any. Alright. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, looks, looks pretty sorry looking, well, but, uh, I think if I paint it a lighter color, it may look it may look good. I I put some uh, you can see it here. I put some black caulking on this a while back because it had holes in it. And I don't know how it got the holes, but that's uh, the way I bought it. it. Had the holes in it. Um. So uh, yeah, let me get the paint all set up, and then I'll I'll be back. Okay, let's see how this comes out. Try a roller on it. I mixed some white that I had laying around with a little bit of black. And uh, it's like a it's like an off-white, antique white probably or something. Stuff really sucks up that paint. It sucks that paint right up. Not, I don't plan on having this covered like right so it's perfect, but I mean, this is going to be far from perfect. But you get the idea. It's going to look probably pretty good. I don't know. And if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll have to go buy one. <laughs> but they don't sell these anymore, so I'd have to go to a junkyard or get them uh you can get the square sheets you know and but I, this one see this one's molded and stuff so i just don't see the square sheet really working too good if this doesn't come out good i can always just paint it black too so i'm gonna finish painting this and then i'll show you the results Finishing up with a brush. I found that the brush works a little bit better on these sides. I think it's going to need two coats though because it's it's just sucking this paint right in.
which is okay, but I kind of like the way it looks. Um, it's going to really brighten up the engine bay, that's for sure. Yeah. I think another coat on there, and it should be all set. And then, you know, I'll have to dry. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I'll show you when it's done. Well, here she is. She took three coats to cover her. Uh, I suggest if you ever do this, um, when you put the first coat on, let it thoroughly dry before you put any more coats on because it just keeps sucking it in. Um, so, let me try putting this up. Find the holes is kind of hard, but let's see. Try the easiest one, maybe. It should be good here. Okay. Now these little guys give me a hard time here, but I'll show you what it looks like after it's done. Well, there she is. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. It's amazing what a little paint will do. Um, hey, if you like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep on wrenching.